morning from me and various cows. <laughs> I'm at my dad's place in the Peak District in Hathersage specifically. Such a lovely place and so much great riding. So supposedly I'm on a road trip but due to factors outside my control I've had to kind of adapt that and think on my feet. So rather than heading up to the Yorkshire Dales I'm going to be staying here for an extra night and then heading straight to Scotland for the UCI Gravel World, World Series. So that's exciting. So the reason I've had to change things up is because last week when I was in Devon, I had a bit of a crash and I didn't realise that I'd cracked my frame. Uh, I didn't realise actually until I was up here in Hathersage and I tried to go for a ride. So that was pretty disastrous. Uh, Alpkit very kindly came to the rescue and lent me a bike for the weekend. So I was able to, well, ride and get out with Peak Gravel Gang on Sunday. So that was super nice. Thank you, Alpkit. Uh, Marin Bikes, my own bike sponsor, have also been super, super helpful and lovely as always and quick off the ball. They have dispatched a brand new bike for me to be delivered here in Hallisage so I can grab that and I can continue on my merry way. I think I'll have to skip the Yorkshire Dales because now I don't really have time. I want to get up to Scotland and I want to recce some of the um, UCI Gravel World Series course so that I can um, ensure that I do as well as possible. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, oh, I'm gonna have to swap hands again. I've really injured my shoulder lifting my bike over a stile. Anyway, today I'm heading over to Leeds. I'm going over to see the guys at Restrap. They make all the saddle bags, bike bags, all the bike packing stuff that I use. They also make some amazing bike packing sandals that I haven't shown you yet. I'll have to do that. So I'm gonna go and see them. We were gonna go for a ride, but I'm giving back the bike to Alpkit and my new one hasn't arrived. So I guess that is not happening. But either way, it's a trip to Restrap and it's new bike day. <coughs> Welcome to Reese's Cup. Hello everyone. Can't believe the scale of this place. Looking forward to um, having a look round and also picking up a few little goodies. There's some bits and bobs that I want to test out for the race on Saturday. I want to make a definitive decision on what food I'm going to take and how I'm going to carry it. So it'll be nice to see the options that they've got here. is where to store food so I've got sort of snack bags that go on either side of the stem but they're at home in Devon and I thought I might try something else like maybe a top tube bag there's a rear top tube bag as well a canister bag not very aero but fits a lot of snacks Kind of crisis yeah basically these are all the sample ones rear top tube bag that is something I've not seen before well it used to be the case that you could run um, a regular top tube bag just facing the other way yeah. um, but this is kind of sized a little bit differently and it's a bit stiffer just because obviously it's more important that it doesn't flop around when it's between your legs hmm. I think the top tube bag is going to be the quickest to get into the rear top tube bag is going to be the lightest on the bike the canister bag you'll be able to fit the most stuff in and then it's readily available because you've got the side pockets on it Try that? Could give it a go, yeah. All right, yeah. So, because everything's made in house, I'm going to get a custom musette. The only problem is, I can't decide. <laughs> <laughs> Anything? So many options. So, what are my options? So, you've got these here out of fabrics. Okay. These don't go on our uh, bags that we send out to customers. So, oh, this okay. is a special one off. Very special one. <laughs> subject where did you get that fantastic t-shirt oh this t-shirt uh <laughs> alex designed this one very cool it's um it's one of his uh, if, i think they're still available on his store you'll have to ask him if he's got yeah. spare left over that's your musette so well it's a pretty quick call it's a rectangle hello hey, A proper bag of swag thanks guys i think we're just going to grab a quick drink and then i'm going to head back to hathersage because my dad messaged me and apparently my new bike has arrived so that that's the route that we did last year um, as part of the event and then you've got some bits and bobs about restrap and kirkstall brewery there as well sweet 
Right, so successful day out in Leeds. The bike has arrived. I wasn't sure if they were just gonna send one of their box completes. It's a frame. So I'm gonna have to spend the evening stripping down this old one, getting all the parts off. Thank God I brought my entire toolkit with me. Then I'm gonna get all the parts from this that I can onto the new one. And then I'll have to find someone who will do the hydraulic stuff that I can't do. I need to find someone who's set up the disc brakes. So <laughs> this visit to dad is getting longer and longer and longer. I was just swinging by on the way to on a road trip, but now it looks like I might be staying. <laughs> this is all news to dad. He's hearing it first here. So I'll do what I can and then I will hit up the local bike shop and pray that they can fit me in. Slightly overwhelmed by the enormity of what I've got to do. I mean, where do you even start when you're stripping a bike? Obviously I know how to take everything off. I don't know what order to do it in. <coughs> Mech's off. Probably should have taken the chain off first, but well, well. Well, nothing, I didn't. This is the driest chain in the entire world. Right, step one done. Next step, dinner to be continued.